Rosie were having fun playing together. Rosie liked copying her big brother. Huh? Hey. Aww. <laughs> That's one sound you won't be able to copy, Rosie. Are you getting hungry, Caillou? Is it almost dinner time? It is, and it's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's pizza night! I love pizza night! Did somebody mention pizza night? Hey! I have an idea. Why don't we make pizza tonight? But we always order pizza. It might be a nice change, Caillou. We have fresh dough in the refrigerator. And lots of yummy toppings, so we can make pizza just the way we like it. Caillou wasn't so sure. Making pizza seemed like it would take a long time. Wouldn't it be faster if the pizza man brought pizza to our house? Faster isn't always better, Caillou. Besides, there's nothing more fun than making homemade pizza. Okay, Mommy. I'm ready to help. First, you need to wash your hands. And you too, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough soap for now. Now that your hands are nice and clean, I have a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Every chef needs an apron. Flowers! And a dinosaur, just like Rexy. <laughs> now we look like real chefs, Rosie. Here you go. You each get some pizza dough. This doesn't look like pizza. That's because we have to turn it into pizza. And to do that, we have to knead and roll the dough. It feels squishy, like modeling clay. <laughs> you have pizza dough on your nose, Rosie, like a clown. <laughs> now, we're ready to roll the dough. Give it a try, Caillou. Back and forth with your rolling pin. <laughs> it's working. It's getting flat. That's it, Caillou. <laughs> Look, Rosie, there's one big pizza and two little ones. Can I have my own pizza, Daddy? Both you and Rosie can have your own pizza, and you can decorate it. But first, we need to put on some tomato sauce. I can do that. Oh, no! I got sauce on my apron. That's all right, Caillou. That's what aprons are for, to help keep your clothes clean while you work in the kitchen. Rosie thought her apron needed some pizza sauce, too. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> okay, I think that's enough pizza sauce for now. It's time to put on the pizza toppings. Mmm, tomatoes, chicken, spinach, <laughs> onions, yuck! That's okay, Caillou. You don't have to put onions on your pizza. Caillou began decorating his pizza. He was being very careful not to let anyone see it. How's it going, Caillou? Great! I'm making a picture, but I want it to be a surprise. Do you like my pizza? It's a picture of me. Oh, yes, I can see that. It looks just like you, Caillou. I think it's time to put these pizzas in the oven. Can I help? Sorry, Caillou. This is a job for grown-ups. The oven is very hot. But you could help me set the timer. Okay. We'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Push this little button right here, Caillou. Now we'll wait for the timer to ring and tell us when the pizzas are done. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to wait for the pizzas to be done. He wanted to eat right away. I'm hungry too, Caillou, but you can't rush a good pizza. He 
was growing tired of waiting for the timer to ring. Five more minutes. I don't think these pizzas are ever going to cook, Mommy. Maybe we should play for a few minutes until they're done. I know! We can play restaurant! I'll be the waiter and you can be my customers, okay? Okay. Okay. I've never been to Caillou's Pizza Parlor before. <gasps> what a lovely place. My name is Caillou and I'll be your waiter. Can I take your pizza order? Sure. Let's see. We'd like to order 22 pizzas, please. We're very hungry. <laughs> okay. What would you like on them? Caillou was having fun being a waiter. He even <laughs> pretended to write down his customers' orders. Let's see. We'll have one with chicken and mushrooms. Peppers! That's right. Peppers. And how about a pineapple and ham pizza? <laughs> Or maybe a cauliflower and mashed potato pizza. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Soon Caillou was laughing so much, he forgot all about the real pizzas cooking in the oven. Until... <laughs> Our pizzas! They're ready! So... What do you think, Caillou? It's yummy. I think we should make pizza every Friday night. It sounds to me like Caillou's Pizza Parlor is a big success. <laughs> it sure is. And that's how Caillou learned that making food at home can be lots of fun. Caillou's mommy and daddy were going away on an overnight trip. Something tells me you wouldn't be interested in a grown-up golf trip. <laughs> but who's going to take care of us? Don't you remember? Grandma and Grandpa are going to spend the night. Yay! Grandma, Grandpa! Grandma, Grandpa! That's probably them now. Grandpa! Hi there, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. It's our pleasure. We're going to have lots of fun, aren't we, kids? Yeah! Fun! <sighs> have fun with Grandma and Grandpa. Watching Mommy and Daddy leave gave Caillou a funny feeling in his tummy. But Rosie felt even worse. Okay, Rosie. There, there, Rosie. We're going to have so much fun together. You and I and Grandpa and Caillou. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Caillou noticed how quiet the house was without Mommy and Daddy. Who's hungry for grilled cheese sandwiches? Me! Me! me. <laughs> I'm hungry. Caillou loved grilled cheese sandwiches. He couldn't wait to eat lunch until Grandma served the sandwiches a little differently. That's not how Mommy makes them. She always cuts them straight across. Blue plate! Blue plate! And Mommy gives us blue plates with carrots, not celery. Not to worry. Grandpa and I just do things a little differently, but we'll work it out. Here you go. Oh, no. Those aren't for Caillou and Rosie. These ones are, right, kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about these ones? Or these? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stop. That's right. Yay! There. Now everybody's happy. Caillou and Rosie were happy. Grandma's grilled cheese sandwiches were almost as good as Mommy's. Shoe, please. I sure can. That's not the way Mommy does it. It's a double knot to make sure they're nice and snug. There, see? 
Now they're super tired never to come undone shoes. Caillou still wasn't sure he liked how Grandpa tied his shoes. But they certainly were very snug. Where's my paddle boat? I can't find it, Caillou. How about Froggy? No, I always have a bath with my paddle boat. Well, maybe you'll just have to do things differently this time. Froggy here could be lots of fun. Hey, can I try? Caillou had to admit Froggy was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a different pair of jammies. I want my horsey jammies. But they're in the wash, Caillou. Oh, well, I like different jammies. Maybe they'll fit me. Hmm, how do you put on pajamas? Does this go on your head? Or maybe you wear this like a cape. Or how about backwards? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you wear jammies like this. Ah, so that's how it goes on. Let's see. Goldilocks and the three stairs. Bears! Oh, yes, bears it is. One day, Goldilocks said, What a beautiful house in the forest! That's not Goldilocks. Mommy and Daddy do the voices differently. Oh, you mean Goldilocks should sound like this? No, Goldilocks. How about like this? No, Goldilocks talks like this. Hi, I'm Goldilocks. Ooh, then Mama Bear should sound like uh, I'm Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, Mama Bear talks like this. And Papa Bear talks like this. Can you like Grandma and Grandpa's new voices? <laughs> they were even sillier than Daddy's. <sighs> oh dear, we better finish this story. It's almost bedtime. Grandma, I know something different we could try. You do? What's that? Letting me and Rosie stay up late. <laughs> I think that might be a little too different for tonight. We're home! Hi, did you have a nice trip? We sure did. <laughs> What's happening over here? Mommy! Daddy! Daddy! We've decided it's okay to do things differently, like sitting upside down. Oh, that's right. But I think sitting right side up is still my favorite. Do Grandma and Grandpa have to go now? Grandma and Grandpa, no go! I think we can stay a bit longer. Yay! Yay! Now, who wants grilled cheese sandwiches? With carrots? Me! Me! Me, Me too! Caillou and Rosie realize that doing things differently can be just as much fun. Did you have fun at preschool today, Caillou? Yes, and I have a surprise for you. A picture of Gilbert. Do you like it? I love it, Caillou. It looks just like him. We have a surprise for you, too. Grandpa's coming over, and he's going to take you somewhere special. That's probably him now. Grandpa, where are you taking me? <laughs> what, no hug, Caillou? <laughs> That's better. Now, I'll tell you. I'm going to take you bowling. Bowling? Caillou was surprised. He had never been bowling before. Isn't that for grown-ups? No, I learned how to bowl when I was your age. And now I'm going to teach you at the bowling alley. 
The bowling alley? Couldn't we just bowl in the backyard? I think you'll really like the bowling alley, Caillou. It has bowling pins and balls, and it's a fun place to get some exercise. What do you say we give it a try? Okay. Here we are. At first, Caillou was a little nervous, especially when he heard the loud knocking of the pins. But when Caillou looked around, he was pleasantly surprised. Grandpa, look! It's my friend Sarah! Sarah! Seeing a friend at the bowling alley made Caillou feel even better. Are we going to play now, Grandpa? As soon as we get our shoes. Can't I wear my own shoes? I'm afraid not, Caillou. These are special shoes, made for bowling on the wooden alleys. This is my grandson's first time bowling. Well, you're in for a fun time there, laddie. Let's see, I'll put you in lane three. Lane three. Thanks, Amos. Now you look like a champion bowler. So we each get a few practice balls, and here's where we get them from. It's called the ball return. To be careful when we're grabbing a ball. We don't want the balls to pinch our fingers. Okay, Grandpa. I'll be careful. Now, do you see those pins? The idea of the game is to knock down as many pins as you can. Each pin is worth points. This computer will keep track of our points and tell us our score. Now, watch your old Grandpa. I'll show you how to throw the ball. Wow, Grandpa! You knocked them all down! Indeed! When that happens, it's called a strike. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. Uh, it's heavy, Grandpa! Maybe you should roll the ball down the alley with both hands. Like your friend Sarah. When the ball lands on the side like that, it's called a gutter ball. It happens to everyone, <laughs> even me. The trick is to aim the ball right down the middle. Try again. I did it! I knocked down a pin! Now Caillou was feeling more confident. <laughs> Hooray, Caillou! I knew you could do it. Now, there's one more thing I need to teach you. Really? What's that? My handy-dandy bowling high five. Now we're ready to play. Oh, do you think Sarah and her mom could play with us, Grandpa? Sure, I don't see why not. Let's ask them. Your mom is good, just like Grandpa. Look at all the strikes. She plays on a team with other bowlers. They get lots of practice. It's your turn, Caillou. Yeah! I knocked down a pin! That's the way, Caillou. Caillou, you're doing very well. Thanks again for the game. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Sarah. That was fun. I'm glad you think so, Caillou, because I have another surprise for you.
Why, you could hardly wait to see what the next surprise would be. So, did you have a good game? We sure did. Caillou bowled a terrific game for a beginner. Well then, this is for you. For me? But I didn't win. Everybody wins when they come out and try something new, Caillou. You deserve a ribbon. Wow, thanks! And I threw the ball and knocked down the pins and we wore special shoes. And look, the nice man at the counter gave me a ribbon. I'm so proud of you, Caillou. Yes, it sounds like you had lots of fun at the bowling alley. I did. Does this mean you'll go bowling with me again? Yes, can we go tomorrow? Caillou had learned that it's always good to try new things, like bowling. <laughs> Caillou was having fun helping Mommy in the garden. Are the raspberries ready now, Mommy? Raspberries? Raspberries. No, they're not ready yet. They need a little more time. Aw, I don't like waiting. I know what might help pass the time. You've been such a good helper. Maybe you'd like to be my junior gardener. Okay. Gilbert, you don't need watering. Oh, Caillou. Sorry, Mommy. Okay, kids. We put the seeds in the cups just like this. Then we'll give them some water and put them on the windowsill. Because bean seeds plus water plus sunlight make bean plants. That's right, class. My, what clever gardeners we have. Yes, Caillou? I'm a junior gardener. I'm helping my mommy grow a raspberry bush. That's wonderful. Uh-huh, and I'll have raspberries to share with the whole class. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Caillou. Of course, you and your family may want to eat the raspberries, too. We're going to have tons of raspberries, and I'll make sure everybody gets some. Mmm, I could eat a million raspberries. Promise to bring them? Yes. Are the raspberries ready now? Not yet, Caillou. You're going to have to be a little more patient. Do you know what I learned today? Bean seeds plus water plus sunlight make bean plants. That's very good, Caillou. No, Rosie. The berries aren't ready yet. Mommy said so. That's right, Rosie. When they turn bright red, then they'll be ready to eat. But if you're hungry, we could have a little snack. Yes, please. Hungry! Aren't you going to drink your milk, Rosie? No. But milk will help you grow up big and tall. <laughs> <sighs> Rosie, tall now. Oh, yes. Much taller. Caillou suddenly had an idea. If milk could make Rosie grow bigger, maybe it would do the same for the raspberry bush. Oh, Caillou, what are you doing? Giving the raspberry bush some milk so it'll grow big and tall. <laughs> I'm afraid that doesn't work with plants, sweetie. They only like water. Caillou wanted the raspberries to ripen faster, so he thought he'd give the bush more water. Now what are you doing, Caillou? Uh, I'm going to give the bush more water so the berries will ripen. I think the bush got enough water today. What it really needs is a little more time for the berries to ripen. Okay, Mommy. Uh, I can give them a little more time. Look, the beans are starting to grow. Hey, did you bring us some raspberries? No, they're not ready yet. You will bring us some, right? You promised. I'm sure Caillou will do his best to bring in some berries when they're ready. You can't brush a raspberry. Come on, grow! Rushing the raspberries was exactly what Caillou intended to do. Pretty please, grow with raspberries on top. 
<sighs> Maybe you need more water. You're taking very good care of the raspberry bush, Caillou. Thank you, but do you think the raspberries will ever be ready? I'm sure they'll ripen soon. They're getting lots of water and sunshine. Not to worry. There's no sun! Caillou was worried. He knew that plants needed lots of sunshine to grow. What are you doing, Caillou? The sun is hiding. I'm giving the bush some more light so it'll grow. That's very thoughtful. But raspberries need sunlight, not light from a flashlight. Oh. Don't worry, the sun will come out again soon. When? I promised I'd take some raspberries to preschool, but they're not ready yet. Oh, I see. They'll ripen up soon, I promise. You can't rush a raspberry. That's what Miss Martin said. Rush a raspberry? <laughs> well, Miss Martin is very wise. Now, why don't we check them again tomorrow, okay? Okay, Mommy. <sighs> Caillou, Rosie. There's something you should see in the backyard. Caillou was worried. He thought something had happened to his raspberry bush. Caillou was right. Something had happened to the raspberry bush. <gasps> raspberries! Look! Raspberries! That's right! Raspberries! They're finally ripe. <laughs> so, was it worth the wait? Yes! Yes! I think we should all say thank you to Caillou for bringing in these tasty raspberries. Thanks, Thanks Caillou. Mmm, I love raspberries more than anything in the whole world. Thanks, Caillou. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, Leo? When are we going to eat our beans? The plants are coming along nicely, Leo, but we won't be able to pick beans for quite a while. We have to be patient, right, Miss Martin? Plants need time to grow. That's right, Caillou. Hmm, maybe we should add that to our chart. Bean seeds plus water plus sunlight plus time make... Bean grass! Caillou learned that you can't rush a raspberry bush or any other plant, but they were worth waiting for. Mmm! doing? Oh, he's working on something for you and Rosie. Really? What is it? It's something extra special. Caillou couldn't wait to find out what Daddy was working on. Daddy's building a skating rink. A skating rink? Yay! Yay! Skating rink! Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Don't you think you should change out of your jammies first? Jammies? <laughs> Oops. That should just about do it. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Rosie. We're ready to skate, Daddy. Where's the rink? This is the rink. But I'm afraid it's not ready for skating on. Not ready? Mm. Caillou was disappointed. He wanted to get skating right away. Well, if you two help me, the rink will get finished much faster. Yeah! Good. First, we need some snow plows to push snow into the frame. Okay, that's plenty of snow. 
come on, there's lots more to do. We have to pack down that snow, nice and tight. And to do that, we need to jump up and down like kangaroos. Who's a kangaroo? Rosie kangaroo. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Now we're giants. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Now the snow's good and flat. Yay! Now we skate. Caillou, I'm sorry. It's not ready yet. It takes a long time to build an ice rink. Caillou wondered if the rink would ever be finished. <laughs> Daddy, glow skating rink. <laughs> Not quite, Rosie. I'm watering the snow. When it gets cold enough, it'll freeze and turn into ice. And then we can skate. But Caillou was growing impatient. He wanted to skate right away. It takes a long time for water to freeze, Caillou. I know, but I can't wait. Why don't you and Rosie build a snowman? That'll be a fun way to pass the time. Snowman! Okay. There you go, Mr. Snowman. Look, Daddy, our snowman wants to skate with us. <laughs> That's great, Caillou. It's always nice to invite friends. Caillou wondered if the rink was frozen yet, so he decided to test it out. The ice seemed like it was ready for skating or sliding. Caillou, no. Uh-oh. Caillou are wet. I'm sorry, Daddy. I thought it was frozen. You need to be a little more patient, Caillou. Good things are worth waiting for. Now I'll have to fix the rink. How long will that take, Daddy? Well, it should be ready by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? <sighs> That's forever. And Caillou swim in the snow. I wasn't swimming, Rosie. I was trying to skate. Don't worry, Caillou. You'll be skating soon enough. I know, but waiting isn't any fun. Huh. Hey! Caillou had forgotten his socks could slide on the kitchen floor. Look! It's just like I'm skating! Caillou skate! Caillou and Rosie skate! <laughs> we don't have to wait to pretend to skate. <laughs> well done! It's morning! Yay! Caillou was excited. The rink was finally ready. <laughs> Oops, I almost forgot. I can't ski with my pajamas on. <laughs> Caillou, slow down. The ice will still be there when you get outside, I promise. Sorry, Mommy. I'm just excited. <laughs> so, was the skating rink worth waiting for? Little skaters, who wants hot chocolate? I do. I do. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little hot, so make sure you blow on it and let it cool down. Oh, hot! I think I burnt my tongue a little. <laughs> you have to be patient, Daddy. Good things are worth waiting for. <laughs> yes, they are, Caillou. Indeed. Next year, Caillou would be a little more patient about skating on the ice.
Caillou and his family were enjoying a big spaghetti dinner. This is great! Spaghetti is my favorite! Thank you, Caillou. Please, just try not to slurp it when you eat. Caillou loves spaghetti, but it was very hard to eat it without making a slurping noise. Oops! Excuse me! It's okay, Caillou. I know you were trying your best. Just like Rosie. She's trying her best not to get her napkin covered with spaghetti sauce. Napkin clean! That's good, Rosie. But you're supposed to use your napkin, especially when sauce is all over your face. Oops! <laughs> Everybody laughed along with Rosie. But while Caillou was laughing, <laughs> he made a noise. Come on, Rosie. Let's get you cleaned up. And you can help me with the dishes, Caillou. Okay, I'll help. <laughs> Caillou was extra careful not to drop anything. But it was hard because of the noises he made. <laughs> Whoa! Sounds like someone's got the hiccups. The hiccups? How do I... <laughs> How do I stop them? Just wait. They usually go away on their own. Oh, okay. I can wait. <coughs> hey, I waited, but they didn't go away. You have to wait longer than that, Pumpkin. Why not play in the living room while you wait? Okay, Mommy. <coughs> <laughs> Caillou decided to build a tower while he waited, but... Aw, are these hiccups ever going to go away? <laughs> How's it going out here? These hiccups are messing up everything. <laughs> I need them to go away. Just try not to think about them, Caillou. If you wait, the hiccups will go away on their own. But I've been waiting. Hmm. Well, I have heard that sometimes hiccups can be cured by giving someone a little scare. A scare? <laughs> I don't like scares. Just a little scare, Caillou. It makes the person gasp, and then the hiccups go away. Do you want to give it a try? If it'll make my hiccups go away, then okay. <laughs> okay, get ready, and... Boom! <laughs> didn't work. Maybe it wasn't scary enough. Well, we could take care of that, right, Rosie? Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Caillou wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Mommy and Rosie were much too funny. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Good thing I'm here, then. I've got a few sure-to-work hiccup cures up my sleeve. Really? Sure. I'm the world's number one all-time hiccup cure champion. Come on, I'll show you. Now, some people cure hiccups by drinking water really fast. From a hose. But it's not as easy as it looks. It can get a little messy. I don't care. <gasps> I want to try. Hey, you found out that drinking from a hose was very messy. And so did Daddy. <laughs> hey! Whoops! Sorry, Daddy. That's okay, Caillou. On a hot day like this, some cool water is good for me. And the grass. <laughs> but it didn't work. I still have the hiccups. Don't worry, Caillou. I've got another cure up my sleeve. The upside-down solution always works. Rosie turn! Rosie turn! Only if you have hiccups, Rosie. This is so my hiccups will go away. <gasps> Don't worry. There's one more cure we can try. I've saved the best for last. This one's almost sure to get rid of your hiccups. What is it? <gasps> I'll show you. You hop on your left foot and rub your head with your right hand. Caillou <laughs> thought Daddy looked silly. And so did Mommy and Rosie. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my! Doesn't Daddy look funny? He does. <laughs> but Caillou really wanted to get rid of his hiccups, so he started hopping too. That's the spirit, Caillou. Hop those hiccups away. That's right, Rosie. You can hop, too. Whoa. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I guess I need to practice my hopping more often. I'm still hiccuping. What if I have them forever? <gasps> and ever and ever! <gasps> well, I hate to say this, but maybe I'll just have to stop making spaghetti for dinner, since spaghetti seems to give you the hiccups. <gasps> but Mommy, spaghetti's my favorite, and Rosie's favorite, and Daddy's favorite. It wasn't the spaghetti that gave me the hiccups. I know it wasn't. And besides, I think they might be gone. Listen. Caillou was right. His hiccups had gone away. Perhaps I scared them away by saying I wouldn't make spaghetti anymore. Nah, I think they went away on their own, just like you said they would. But are you really going to stop making spaghetti? Of course not, Caillou. I was just teasing. Phew. That's a relief. I love spaghetti. Rosie, too! Paschetti! Not right now, Rosie. We just had spaghetti. But soon, Rosie. We promise. <coughs> Uh-oh. Now I've got hiccups. <coughs> Caillou had realized hiccups go away on their own with a little patience. When is Grandma getting here? You two are certainly excited to have Grandma babysit today. Maybe it has something to do with her promise to bring over something special to eat. Mmm, I wonder what it is. Grandma! Grandma! Grandma's here! Grandma's here! Now, don't worry. The kids will be just fine. You have a good time golfing. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Be good for Grandma. Okay. Have fun, kids. So, are you ready for some treats? Treats? Yes, please. I went to a special cooking class yesterday and learned all about olives. Did you know they're healthy and delicious? Caillou had never even heard of olives before. He wondered what they tasted like. I made some homemade Italian olive bread. Try some. Mmm, the olives look like chocolate chips. Yummy! Rosie really liked the bread, so Caillou thought he would like it too. Caillou didn't know what to do. He knew it wasn't polite to spit out his food. So, what do you think? Caillou didn't like the taste of olives, but he didn't know how to tell Grandma. It tastes, um, great. Oh, that's wonderful. I wasn't sure you'd like it, but now that you do, I have lots more olive treats in store for you. Yay! More? Kids, snack time! I hope you like crackers with a special dipping sauce. Can't you just smell the... Olives. Olives! Caillou didn't want to eat the special dipping sauce, so he came up with a clever way to avoid it. I better go check on the oven. Here, Caillou, help yourself to some more. Caillou! Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are we having for dinner? Pizza! Yay! Caillou 
loved pizza, especially the way Grandma made it. Caillou could hardly wait. Olives? That's right. Your favorite and mine. Olives. <laughs> Rosie, too. Caillou didn't want to eat the pizza, but he couldn't think of a way to tell his grandma. Something the matter, Caillou? No, I uh just saw some dirt on the floor and decided to clean it. There, all gone. Whew. <coughs> clean plates. How wonderful. Since you both like olives so much, I'll have to make more olive treats in the future. And just wait till you try my special homemade dessert. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want to think about what Grandma had in store for him next. <gasps> Doesn't it look yummy? Eat up! Caillou couldn't stand to eat another olive. He realized he needed to tell Grandma how he felt about them. So, who's ready for some dessert? Ozzy, too! I don't like olives! <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't like the taste. Why didn't you say something before, Caillou? I didn't know how to tell you. And you worked so hard to make us all those treats. Caillou was sure Grandma would be upset with him. <laughs> Oh, Caillou, I'm glad you told me how you feel. Aren't you mad at me? No, everyone has different tastes. You don't like olives, and I don't like beets. To each his own. Besides, I think it's nice that you were worried about my feelings. Caillou was relieved, especially when Grandma revealed her special homemade dessert. Oatmeal cookies! Caillou was delighted. There wasn't a single olive in sight. So, did you have a fun day? Oh, we sure did. Rosie, me? You want me to help you put your name on it? Okay. An olive slice? What's that doing in here? Oops. I guess I have some tidying up to do. That day, Caillou learned that he could be honest with Grandma even when it came to her cooking. <laughs> One day, Daddy and Rosie decided to play with some modeling clay, and Rosie was taking charge. Big eyes! Small toe! Big ears! Okay. Space robots flying through space. Space robots looking for aliens. Would you boys like to make something out of clay, too? No, thanks. We're having fun playing space robots. We're looking for aliens. Okay, just take it easy, then. No problem. Space robots, turbo power! Okay, Rosie, here you go. Your very own clay poodle. Be careful, it's still soft. Poodle! Wow. 
What's our next space robot mission, Caillou? Let's explore more planets. Leo and Caillou continued to play space robots upstairs when they almost had a cosmic crash. Rosie Pluto! Careful! Oops! Sorry, Rosie. But I think it's okay. You know, that poodle looks pretty neat. Rosie Poodle! Woof, woof! <laughs> now her poodle is a guard dog. <laughs> beep, beep. Aliens are in the area. We have to go. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Alien <laughs> escape! Come back! <laughs> 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 We must pick up the space food. Wow. Look, alien headquarters! That space poodle needs rescuing. We must escape the alien's super turbo power! Unfortunately for Caillou, all of his space robot flying made him very dizzy. Whoa! <gasps> I've got it! Uh-oh. Caillou was worried. He knew how upset Rosie would be if anything happened to her poodle. And that poodle was squash-a-doodled. Doggy! <gasps> That's right, Rosie. Oh, no! It's Rosie! Quick, hide it! Caillou and Leo tried their best to keep Rosie from entering the room. Rosie Poodle? Uh, uh, you can't come in, human. It is not safe. Aliens everywhere. Danger! Code Red, stay away! Rosie, want Poodle? Who wants to go to the park? Me, me, me! Rosie, Rosie! We're gonna stay here with Mommy. Whew, that was close. But what are we gonna do? Rosie will be so upset if she finds out we broke her Poodle. Caillou and Leo came up with a plan to solve their problem. Let's make another poodle, just like the one we broke. Yeah, maybe Rosie won't even notice. The boys got to work on making a new poodle dog for Rosie. What do you think? It doesn't look like a poodle. It looks like a half elephant, half poodle. It's an elephant poodle! <laughs> <laughs> the boy's creation seemed to get wackier and wackier. That's not a poodle. It's a hippopotam monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy's giggling got louder and louder. <laughs> it's a lion noodle! <laughs> <laughs> the boys tried one more time to make a poodle. Ta-da! It looks like a poodle. Um, well, sort of. It doesn't look anything like the one Daddy made with Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Mommy! How was the poodle? Oh, no! Rosie's back! Hurry! We need to get this poodle back in front of her dollhouse. If you space robots need to refuel, I made some space lemonade. Animals! Indeed! Some very interesting animals. Hey there. Uh, is there something wrong, Caillou? Caillou felt bad about trying to trick Rosie with their poodle. He decided to do the right thing. We were having fun with our space robots, but we got a little carried away, and 
And, and we squished Rosie's clay poodle. We tried to make a new one, but it's not very good. Caillou turned to Rosie, expecting her to be very upset. Aminos! Aminos! He was surprised to see she was so happy. I'm glad you boys admitted to your mistake. But Rosie found the other animals you made. And I think she loves them even more than the poodle. Aminos! <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I like your aminos. They're very inventive. Thanks. Look, Rosie, this one's a hippopotamonkey. And this one's a lion noodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo had learned an important lesson. It was much better to own up to their mistakes and tell the truth. <coughs> oh no! Not again! Caillou's neighbor, Mrs. Howard, was cleaning up her cellar. It wasn't an easy job. <sighs> The Lightning Ball Express! Oh, hello, Mrs. Howard. Come in. I hope you don't mind, but I brought over something special. I think Caillou's going to love it. Hello, Caillou. I have something to show you. The Lightning Ball Express. It's a perfect scale model of a coal-fired train, complete with caboose. Choo-choo? That's right, Rosie. A train. An electric train. It was my son's favorite toy when he was growing up. Why, I hadn't seen it in years. Wow, it's great. I know what. How would you like to borrow it for a while? Really? Yes, please, Mrs. Howard. Thank you. Caillou was very happy. He couldn't wait to try out Mrs. Howard's train. <laughs> All aboard! Choo -choo. For the rest of the day, Caillou sent Mrs. Howard's train traveling all over the house. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes my train of thought. Does the conductor want a snack? time with Mrs. Howard's train. All aboard! Attention! The Caillou Express is pulling into Gilbert the Cat Station. <gasps> oh no! Mrs. Howard's train! What am I going to tell Mrs. Howard? Caillou was very upset. He had broken Mrs. Howard's train. He didn't know what to do. Caillou, is everything okay? I heard a noise. Everything's fine. I was just, uh, making up sounds for the train. Uh, Chris Smash, Crunch, Blam! <laughs> okay. Caillou wanted to make sure Mrs. Howard never found out about the broken train. He knew she'd be very upset. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing anything. Well, then, I think you've spent enough time indoors. How about a trip to the park for some fresh air? Okay. Okay. 
Caillou was having so much fun on the swings, he forgot all about Mrs. Howard's broken train. Hello, Caillou! <gasps> that was a close one. Caillou didn't want Mrs. Howard to find him because he didn't want to explain what happened to her train. Hi, Caillou. I was hoping to run into you. Look what I found for the train set. A cattle car. Uh, thanks. Oh, that was odd. Yes, indeed. As Caillou and Mommy walked home, he worried they would run into Mrs. Howard. All right, Caillou. What's this all about? Why are you hiding? Hiding? I'm not hiding. Caillou! I found another piece to add to the train set. A water tower. Oh, well, isn't that nice, Caillou? Now, where did he go? That's the second time he's done that today. I wonder what's wrong. Is it something I said? Caillou, can you come out here, please? Mrs. Howard and I would like to speak with you. Oh, hi, Caillou. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Ducky and I are just having a little soak. <laughs> hi there, Caillou. Uh, I, I don't mean to pry, but is there something the matter? your train, Mrs. Howard. Oh, the old Thunderball Express. Broken again. I'll let you in on a little secret, Caillou. My son broke this train hundreds of times. I became an expert on how to fix it because it got broken so often. So don't worry, Caillou. Accidents happen. Oh, I'm so glad you're not upset with me. Me too, Caillou. But if anything like this ever happens again, you need to ask for help, rather than covering up your tracks. <laughs> I'll head on home and fix this up right away. All uh, aboard! Caillou was glad he wasn't hiding from Mrs. Howard anymore, because Mrs. Howard was a fantastic train conductor. Woo -woo! <laughs> Hooray! Caillou and Rosie were in a cheering mood. It was fun jumping for joy and being silly together. Ow! Hooray for Gilbert! Gilbert, hooray! Ow! Hooray! Phew! <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. I went for a run. I'm training for a marathon. Hooray, a marathon! A marathon! Hooray! What's a marathon? A marathon is kind of a long race. A race? Oh, I like races. I want to run a marathon, too. Uh, I'm sorry, Caillou. Marathons are for grown-ups. The runners have to run for a very long time for a far distance. I can do that. Oh, I don't think so, Caillou. Please, Daddy, can I just go running with you, please? Well, I guess I could go for another run around the block today. Hooray! Hooray! Can we run? Not yet. It's important to stretch properly. We've just begun. <laughs> <Whoa. sighs> this 
looks easy. Hey! Oh, sorry, honey. I didn't see you there. Now can we go? Yes. Now we can go. I'm going to run really far, Daddy. Caillou thought that if he showed Daddy how far he could run, he would let Caillou run in the marathon. Our Caillou's quite the little runner, isn't he, Mrs. Howard? <laughs> Actually, Mrs. Howard, I'm a big runner. Caillou wondered where that mailbox came from. It seemed to pop out of nowhere. You should always watch where you're going, Caillou. <coughs> Whoops! Sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> I guess I should watch where I'm going, too. See you later. Caillou was beginning to feel tired. But he didn't want to stop running. <sighs> he wanted to prove that he could run in a marathon. Dog, doesn't he know I'm trying to run here? <laughs> Caillou's legs were beginning to feel very tired. He wondered how much farther he could run. Whoa! Uh. Are you okay, Caillou? I'm okay. But how am I supposed to run a marathon if I can't even make it around the block? It takes a lot of training and practice to prepare for a marathon, Caillou. So if I practice, I'll be able to run a marathon? Well, maybe one day. The more you practice, the farther you'll be able to run. But for now, let's walk home and have some lunch, shall we? <laughs> Running sure takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? Well, you're sure to have lots of energy now. Yes, I'm ready to go running again. Again? Uh-huh. I can't wait to show you how much farther I can run this time. Okay, Caillou. Caillou and Daddy had gone out for another run. But Caillou was disappointed. He still couldn't run very far. <sighs> I'll never be able to run a marathon. I wouldn't say that, Caillou. I think you did well this time. You did run farther. Yeah, but not far enough. I want to be able to run like you, Daddy. But, Caillou, I can run farther because I'm a grown-up. My muscles are much bigger and I've had more time to practice. I know. I just think it'd be fun. Hmm. Do you know what else would be fun? What? Last one to the house is a rotten egg. <laughs> ready, Rosie? Rosie, ready. Good catch, Rosie. Rosie went too? Sure, Rosie. What do you say? We all run to Mrs. Howard's house and back. Okay, that's easy. Come on, Rosie. Hold up, Caillou. Let's wait for your sister. Caillou had forgotten Rosie couldn't run very fast or very far. Hey, Rosie can't run like me. Just like I can't run like you. That's right. Everybody has their own skill level. You know, I don't think I want to run a marathon just yet, Daddy. You don't? No, I can wait till I'm a grown-up. I just wish there was one for kids. You know, I think that could be arranged. How about a mini-marathon in the backyard? A mini-marathon! Yeah! yeah! Hooray, Caillou! Here you go, Rosie! Yay! We did it, yeah! Rosie! We finished the race! Hooray, a marathon! Hooray! Marathon! Marathon! A mini-marathon was just the right size. And Caillou and Rosie were thrilled to finish the race. Hooray! <laughs> Caillou was 
was excited because Grandpa and Daddy were taking him on a real sailboat. Maybe we'll see whales in the water. Or sea monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I guess anything's possible. Caillou, I'm glad you're excited. But before we do anything, we need to put on our life jackets. But we're not even sailing yet. Safety first. Now we go sailing. Not quite yet, Caillou. On a boat, everyone has a job to do. Today, I'm not just Grandpa. I'm the captain, so I'm in charge. And Daddy isn't just Daddy, he's my special helper, which means he's the first mate. And what am I? You're the lookout. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. Lookout didn't seem nearly as important as being captain or first mate. But I want to be captain. Sorry, Caillou. Grandpa has sailed more than we have. That's why he gets to be captain. Now, come and give us a hand. Ah, oh, there's nothing like being out in fresh air. Hoist the sails! Aye, aye, Captain. Caillou, help me turn the crank. Aye, aye, Daddy. I mean, first mate. That's my good sailor. Now sit on your lookout chair and hang on. Caillou had wanted to help hoist the sail with Daddy and Grandpa. had a better idea. Ahoy, mates! I'm the captain now, and I order you to go that way. <laughs> it takes more than a cap to make a captain, Caillou. It takes a lot of experience, too. Hmm, it's not fair. Well, then, I guess you don't want to help me steer the boat. Yes, I do. That's it. Nice and steady. You see, Grandpa? I could be the captain. One day, when you've learned how to sail, you'll be captain. But first, you need to learn how to be a good lookout. Caillou watched first mate Daddy turn the sails. And that gave him another idea. Daddy, I know a job that looks almost as fun as being captain. You do? What's that, Caillou? First mate, we get trade jobs. Sorry, Caillou. First mate is a grown-up job. It takes a lot of experience. You can have my shiny shell and lucky rock and all my dessert for a week. Caillou, lookout is much too important a job to trade away. Lookout doesn't feel like an important job. It doesn't? Well, that's because you haven't received your extra special orders yet. You have to help us find our way to Treasure Cove. Treasure Cove? That's right. We need our lookout to spot each of these landmarks with these binoculars. Did you know my granddad gave these to me when I was your age? <laughs> Did you think I was a sea monster? <laughs> no, just a daddy from the sea. Now, the first thing you need to find is a boy. It's like a signpost floating in the water. Okay. Caillou was a little frustrated. He looked and looked out at the lake, but all he saw was water and waves. Oh, this is boring. Grandpa, I found 
found the boy! Well done. Now, you need to look for the little island with a rock and tree on it. Aye, aye, first mate, Daddy. Look, look! It's the island! I found it! There she blows! Adjust course, first mate. Aye, aye, Captain. Caillou was beginning to enjoy his job as lookout. Now all he had to find was the cove with the dock. See anything yet, Caillou? Not yet, Captain. That's strange. We should have found it by now. I'll take a look. No, Grandpa. I'm the lookout, and the lookout uses the binoculars. He does have a point. Okay, Caillou. I found it! There's the dock! Good spotting, Caillou! First mate, prepare to come ashore in Treasure Cove. Aye, aye, Captain. Well done, Lookout Caillou. Without your help, we might have missed Treasure Cove. Thanks. Is there really a treasure here? There sure is. Our picnic lunch. It was prepared by First Mate Daddy, so it's sure to be yummy. <laughs> What's this? It's our ship's logbook. See, here I am when I was lookout. And that's your daddy when he was lookout. And now your picture will go in the logbook too, Caillou. You mean lookout, Caillou. Caillou was now proud to be lookout. He had learned that every job is important. It was very early in the morning, and both Caillou and Gilbert were happily dreaming until... Wakey, Caillou! Wakey! Caillou wasn't finished dreaming yet. <laughs> Peekaboo! What is it, Rosie? Look! Rosie glowed! <laughs> wow, Rosie! You grew right through your pajamas! <laughs> I bet I grew too! Come on, Rosie! Let's tell Mommy and Daddy! Rosie found it funny to watch Mommy and Daddy sleeping, but Caillou wasn't sure if they should wake them up. Gilbert, shh! <laughs> Gilbert! <sighs> Good morning, my little early birds. Rosie glowed! Gilbert, cut it out. Shoo! <laughs> I think I grew too. Can we check and see, Mommy? Please? All right, but let's let Daddy sleep in a little longer, okay? Gilbert, however, had no intention of letting Daddy sleep in any longer. Okay, Rosie, you first. Stand still. Wow, Rosie, you have grown. You just had a growth spurt. That means you grew very quickly. My turn, Mommy. Caillou hoped he had grown just as much as Rosie. The pencil line is at the same place? I didn't grow at all? Caillou was very disappointed. He hadn't grown even a little bit. And he began to worry that Rosie would grow taller than he was. Don't worry, sweetie. You'll have a growth spurt soon. You'll see. Daddy, how can I have a growth spurt like Rosie? I want to grow bigger. A growth spurt, hmm? Well, it helps if you get plenty of sleep and exercise, and you do your best to eat well. I got lots of exercise at the park yesterday, but I didn't grow like Rosie did. How do people eat well? They eat healthy foods, like lots of fruits and vegetables. Oh, and we can't forget about milk for healthy bones. Caillou really wanted to grow bigger, so he thought he'd take Daddy's advice. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for now. Any more and you'll be swimming in milk. What are you doing, Caillou? I'm exercising.
exercising. If I stretch my arms and legs, I'll grow bigger. <laughs> well, why don't you stretch yourself into the hallway and put on your shoes? We're going to the grocery store. Attention, clean up an aisle two, please. Well, hello there. Haven't seen you in a while. Rosie growed! Why, yes, you have. You're getting to be such a big girl. Caillou was waiting for Ted to tell him that he'd grown too. Hi, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Are you enjoying preschool? Uh-huh. Caillou was disappointed. Ted didn't say that he was a big boy. Well, have fun shopping. Up you go. Oh, oh my. You really are getting to be a big girl. Can I push the cart, Mommy? Oh, I don't know. I think the cart is still a bit big for you, Caillou. Please? Okay, but be careful. Caillou was determined to show everyone that he was a big boy. Yeah. 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 It's okay, Caillou. It's not your fault. These displays aren't made for little guys like you. No, Rosie. I'm putting it away. Rosie, too. No. <laughs> I think you're a tired girl. Time for your nap. Rosie, nap. Rosie, grow bigger. This made Caillou think about what Daddy had said earlier. He needed plenty of sleep to grow bigger. <laughs> it's too bright. No fair, Gilbert. You can sleep anytime. That was Andre at the door. Caillou had forgotten. He and his friend had made plans to go to the park. Andre, how did you get to be so big? Well, I don't know. My mom says it's because I eat lots of peanut butter. I don't always like being big. Really? Sure. Sometimes I'm too big to do the stuff I want to do. And my pants are always too short. Come on, let's ride on the bouncy elephant. Oh, me first. <laughs> hey, I don't fit on here anymore. You can ride it. Caillou fit just fine on the bouncy elephant. I'm going on the monkey bars. But he was more interested in playing with Andre. Wait for me. I'm getting too big for these. <laughs> I'm not, but do you want to go on the slide instead? Yeah! Are you two having fun? Yeah, but Andre's too big for a lot of stuff. Maybe I like being small. Is it okay if I don't grow big for a little while longer? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have any control over that. But I like you just the way you are. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Wait for me, Andre! Caillou decided being little was okay. He had lots of time to grow bigger. Today was a busy day at Caillou's house. Mommy and Daddy were throwing a surprise party for Grandpa. Ta-da! One birthday cake done, and only about a million other things left to do. Well, don't worry about the decorations. That's my job. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and my job is to lick the icing off the beaters, right? <laughs> yes, and your other job is to go for a hike with Grandpa to keep him busy. Right, but what's Rosie's job? Her job is to help wrap Grandpa's birthday present. <laughs> but I think she got a bit sidetracked. Rosie, pretty! <gasps> a present! I forgot to draw a birthday picture for Grandpa. You'd better hurry. 
They'll be here any minute. Oh, I'll cover the cake. Hide the bows. Yama, Yampa. Hi, everyone. Oh, you two are getting so big. Yes, pretty soon you'll have to give me the piggyback rides. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tiger, are you looking forward to our hike today? Uh, yes! <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a great time. And when you get back, we'll all have a nice, quiet dinner together. Bye-bye! Bye! So, Caillou, I was thinking we could ride our bikes out to Blueberry Point and then hike to the top. How's that sound? Blueberry Point? Caillou had a wonderful idea. He could pick blueberries for his grandpa's birthday present. Well, Caillou, what do you say? Grab your bike and let's get rolling. To Blueberry Point. <sighs> I haven't been here in years. Where do we get the blueberries? <laughs> well, they're not out here by the road, but we might see some along the trail. Let's go. Which ones are blueberry trees? <laughs> None of them. Blueberries grow on bushes. Shh, listen. A cardinal. Do you see it anywhere? He's a bright red bird. No? Well, maybe I can call him closer. Who it? Who it? Who it? Why don't you call him too? Wit! Who it? Who it? It worked! Wow, Grandpa! I didn't know you could speak bird. <laughs> now this is where you might find blueberries. It's sunny and hilly. Grandpa! A white-tailed deer. She's a beauty. Why are they called that? Her tail isn't white. Well, they show their white tails when they're startled. <laughs> Oops. Um, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we interrupted her lunch. These are blueberry bushes. Blueberries? I guess she was hungry. Come on, Caillou. The best view in town is straight ahead. Caillou snuck the blueberries into his bag. He hoped they would find lots more. Wait for me! But he was disappointed when they reached the top of the hill. And there wasn't a blueberry in sight. Grandpa, do you see any blueberries or raspberries? Or any berries? <laughs> no. But check out that view. Look, a hot air balloon. Hello! <laughs> I don't think they'll hear you, Caillou, but they might see us wave. Hi, hello! <laughs> hello! What a perfect day. Did you know today's my birthday? Uh, yes. What's wrong, Tiger? I wanted to pick lots and lots of blueberries for you as a birthday present, but I hardly found any. Caillou, you've already given me a terrific gift. I got to spend all afternoon with my grandson. What more could I ask for? Why are the lights off? Surprise! Surprise! 
<laughs> what happened to having a quiet family dinner? I thought this might be more fun. You thought right. Thanks for keeping Grandpa busy. Did you have fun? Yes, but I didn't find many blueberries. That looks like just enough to me. Just enough for what? It's lemon cake with blueberries on top. My favorite. Come here, Caillou. You too, Rosie. Help me blow out the candles. One, One two, two, three. three. <sighs> <laughs> that day, Caillou learned that time spent with a loved one is the best gift of all. going for a run. Even hamsters need a little exercise. Now, who would like to feed Hamish? Oh, me, please. <laughs> okay, Caillou. You can feed Hamish today. Not too much now. Caillou was very careful not to overfeed Hamish. <laughs> I think he needs more water. You're right. I'm impressed, Caillou. You're very good at taking care of our class pet. Thanks, Miss Martin. How would you like to look after Hamish for the weekend? Really? Sure. How come I don't get to look after Hamish? I like hamsters. Me too. I'm good at taking care of pets. Now, children, I've spoken to all of your parents, and everyone will get a turn to have Hamish for a weekend. Really? But this weekend, it will be Caillou's turn. And Caillou could hardly wait. We'll leave Hamish here for the moment, till we find a good spot. He can stay in my room. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Caillou. Hamsters are up through the night. He might keep you awake. I don't mind. Lucy! This is Hamish. He's a hamster. He's our class pet. Mousy cute. No, Rosie, he's a hamster, not a mouse. Rosie feed Mousy? No, he's already been fed. And he's a mouse, not a hamster. I mean, a hamster, not a mouse. Mousy like cheese? Uh, no, Mousy doesn't like cheese. <laughs> I think there's someone else who would like to meet Hamish. Hamish had already met Mommy and Daddy and Rosie. Caillou couldn't think of anyone else. Oh, Gilbert! <laughs> Gilbert! Gilbert no like Mousy. I'm sure he just needs to get used to Hamish. If we keep a close eye on Gilbert and pay him lots of attention, I'm sure everything will be just fine. But Caillou found it hard to pay attention to Gilbert with a cute little hamster in the house. There, how's that, Hamish? Now you've got a good view of my toys. And you've got your wheel and your food and your water bottle. There was too much fussing going on to pay attention to a playful Gilbert. There you go, Hamish. Looks good. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to feed Hamish. May I be excused? As long as you come right back. Okay. As Caillou raced through the kitchen, he didn't realize he'd knocked over Gilbert's food dish. That evening, Gilbert had forgotten all about his runaway food. I bet Hamish will like playing with this. Come on, Hamish. Look at the little mousy. I see you're all ready for bed. 
Don't forget, you promised to fill Gilbert's water dish. Okay, Mommy. I'll do it now. <laughs> I knew you'd like him. Soon Caillou forgot all about Gilbert's water dish. The next morning, Caillou was a little concerned. I can't find Gilbert, Mommy. I'm sure he's here somewhere. Although, come to think of it, I haven't seen him either. Uh-oh. I forgot to fill Gilbert's water dish. Poor Gilbert. I think you're taking good care of your class pet, Caillou. But maybe you need to spend a little more time looking after your own pet. Caillou knew Mommy was right. Yeah, I need to go find Gilbert. Finally found Gilbert in his room, right in front of Hamish's cage. Gilbert, no! Leave Hamish alone! Oh, I'm sorry, Gilbert. I thought you were after Hamish, but you're thirsty. Come on. Let's go get some water. Here you go, Gilbert. A treat. Sorry, Gilbert. I was so busy looking after Hamish, I didn't take care of you. Gilbert seemed to forgive Caillou. Does this mean we're friends again? <laughs> Maybe we can all be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and they were all friends. When Caillou realized he could share his time. his family were finishing a very special breakfast. Daddy's surprise birthday breakfast. Mmm. Did you like it? I sure did. Thank you for making such a delicious breakfast. All of you. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Oh, I better get moving. I promised Grandpa I'd help him with his yard work. Boy, look at all those weeds. I guess I have some work to do in our own yard. It'll have to wait. Tell Grandma and Grandpa we say hello. We'll have to have them over for dinner later this week. Yeah! <laughs> Will do. Caillou looked out into the garden. It did have lots of weeds. That gave Caillou an idea. Can we give Daddy another birthday surprise? What kind of surprise? Maybe we can get rid of the weeds for Daddy before he comes back. <laughs> That's a nice idea, Caillou. Then he can relax for the rest of the weekend. Rosie, help! Rosie, help! <laughs> we'll all help, right after we put on some sunscreen. Weeds, I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Mommy, why do people pick weeds? Well, they tend to take over the garden, and they take food and water away from the other plants. Can't the other plants grow if there are weeds? They can, but they won't grow as well. If we pick the weeds, the other plants get more food and water, so they'll grow better. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get those weeds! Not so fast. <laughs> I need to show you which are the weeds and which ones are my flowers. 
I don't want you pulling up my petunias. Mommy showed Caillou and Rosie which plants were the weeds and which ones were the flowers. Caillou was very interested. So, my little junior gardeners, are we all set to do some weeding? Uh-huh. Yes! Oh, there's just one more thing. I've noticed some ragweed at the back of the garden. Ragweed? It's a kind of plant that makes Rosie sneeze. So you two will have to pull out the weeds here while I pull out the weeds back there, okay? Okay. I'll keep an eye on Rosie. She can be my helper. Caillou was enjoying weeding the garden. He was sure they'd finish the job. That is, until Rosie got an idea of her own. Rosie pick! <gasps> no! Those are Mommy's daisies. You can't pick them. They're flowers, not weeds. Rosie no pick? No, you need to pick these ones, just the weeds. No, Rosie, not the flowers. We need to pick the yucky weeds. Leave the flowers alone. Caillou could see things would move a lot faster without his helper. Look, Rosie, this is all weeds. You can pick anything you want here. Look, watch me. See, Rosie? We can pick all the weeds from this part of the garden and... Rosie? Rosie? Rosie was heading towards Mommy and the ragweed that made her sneeze. No, Rosie, come back! Come on, Rosie, let's, um, play in the sandbox. Yeah, that'll be fun. There, now you can dig in the sandbox while I pull out the weeds, okay? Okay. Rosie! You're not supposed to dig up the flowers, Rosie! Hmm. I know. Do you want to play with some of your toys and dollies outside? Dolly! Okay, you stay right here. I'll be right back with your toys. I'm going inside to get some toys for Rosie. Okay. Remember, Rosie, no picking flowers. Caillou wanted to keep Rosie really busy outdoors. So he decided he'd have to bring out a lot of toys. Rosie, but I want to give Daddy a garden with no weeds, not a garden with no flowers. Rosie didn't understand, and Caillou was worried he would never finish pulling all the weeds out of the garden. There's so much to do, Rosie. The flower beds and the lawn, it's still full of dandelions. Pretty. What's pretty? The dandelions? They're weeds. Pretty flowers. <laughs> I know. Rosie, why don't you pick some of these yellow flowers for Daddy? That'll be nice, okay? Okay. Wow, would you look at that? We all work together. Do you like it? I sure do. Two birthday surprises in one day. Thanks. You should know it was Caillou's idea. And he did a lot of the work himself. Really? Wow. Pulling weeds from the garden is a big job. Thank you, Caillou. You're welcome. Oh, and there's one more birthday surprise. Right, Rosie? <laughs> yes! Happy birthday! Caillou wondered if Daddy would like Rosie's weedy gift. Oh, they're beautiful, Rosie. Thank you. It had been a clever idea letting Rosie pick the dandelions, and it had worked out beautifully. Mm -hmm.